Emotional testimony in the marathon bombing trial today. Jurors were shown the torn up, blood stained clothing worn by eight year old victim Martin Richard. They then viewed his gruesome autopsy photos and heard the painful recount of how he died. The government then rested its case against Johar Sarnaya. Another chilling piece of evidence shown in court today this never before seen photo that shows Sarnaya lurking behind a tree just behind the Richard family as they cheered on the runners going by. News Center Fries Kelly Tudhill was inside the courtroom, and Kelly, this picture is powerful. It sure is. It was just a brutal day all around in courtroom nine as Bill Richards sat with his arm around his wife, Denise, listening to that testimony that brought several jurors to tears. Among the many haunting images, we saw the medical examiner hold up a pair of Martin's trousers, telling the jury he was unable to tell if at one point they were shorts or pants. The medical examiner held up eight year old Martin Richards' clothing, describing them as blood stained, shredded, and charred. They include the small Patriots t shirt the 53 inch, 69 pound boy wore, as well as the long sleeve green Celtics jersey. Several jurors wiped tears as the ME showed them graphic autopsy photos and described how Martin was killed by blast injuries that damaged his entire body, leaving gaping wounds, internal injuries, and broken bones. The ME testified. Overall, the injuries to his body would have been painful. The medical examiner said he removed pieces of the bomb and debris from the child's body. There were small nails, round metal pellets, small fragments of wood, and black plastic. Another medical examiner told the jury Lu Lingzi's cause of death was blast injuries to the lower extremities, caused by debris hitting her body and going through her body. The 23 year old Boston University student bled to death in front of Forum Restaurant. It would not have been immediate, but relatively quickly, the ME explained, from seconds to minutes. And the ME testified she had no head injuries, so Lou was likely conscious as she bled to death. The jurors saw a horrible picture of her on her side with her hands covering her face. Coming up at 6, the defense takes over. We'll talk to you about their first witness they put on the stand. For now, we're live outside federal court. I'm Kelly Tuthill, WCVB News Center 5.